Hi, this is your girl, lovely Pamela, and I'm back with the video of makeup um, for the month that I'll be using. So, hope you guys enjoy this vid. I'll come back and do a what's on my nail vid. Um, because I got to replace a stone because apparently I must have hit it hard enough to um, for it to come off. So, anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, let's get into it. All right. Except I haven't used in about, oh my God, about five years. It's this um, Sephora. It comes with a blush and a bronzing powder. Looks like this. I don't know if you guys have that. Open it up. Give you a look. Look at all those pretty colors. Especially that gold at the bottom. So it comes with the beige apricot. Deep burgundy. Where's the deep burgundy? Where's the deep burgundy at? Yeah. It has a deep burgundy and those colors. Next thing I'm going to be using is my Make Me Over Harmony eyeshadow. So those are those colors. Probably want to swatch, so I'm going to swatch the brown, the cream, the lighter color, and this color, and there they are. They are pigmented, except for this one is a little powdery. I'll swatch them out for you on my hand. You're going to need a base with all of them. But they, they're pretty good for the price. Um, next thing I'm going to be using is my NARS um, Blade Runner. Do I even have it right? My NARS Blade Runner. If you haven't ever seen Blades Runner, I'll swatch it for you. Actually, I used these two colors, I believe, oh, a long time ago, but those are the two colors. Next thing is, eh, I'm not using Exhibit A. I'll take that back. As far as eyeshadows are concerned, I'll be using my Diamond Lust, Neptune. Just a really sparkly blue. Oh, let's get a little bit of that on that brush so you guys can see what it looks like brushed out. And I'll brush it for you guys. And that's what it looks like. Okay. Next thing I'll be using is my Revlon Pearl Brush Copper. I'm gonna do the same thing. A little brush. Let's see what that. It's damn near you be used under your eyes as a highlighter. But that's it, brush copper. Not much to it. It's just enough to give you a, a um, crease color. Next thing I'll be using is this LA Girls Pomegranate Blush. The color is called Pomegranate. And everything I have comes with a mirror. So if you're wondering, yes, it has a mirror. It comes with a brush. Never used a brush, but I've used this quite often, as you can see, because it's a sheared out. But it's not so heavy that it can't be. So I'll share it out right here for you guys to see what I'm talking about. And there you go. It's like a metallic -y sheen. If you guys can see that. Um, next thing I'll be rocking is my cocoa blush. I've already lost the top of this. And I use this as you guys a lot. As you can see, I'll take this off. I have been digging into that. That cocoa blush is for business. Mind you, something Mac has, but I can't remember. But um, let me swatch it off here. It's just enough color. You guys can see it, but that's that. Well, it's on my finger anyway. Whatever. Um. Next thing I'll be finishing up is this transition color in brown. I forgot what this was, but about this a long time ago. It's by Mac. I've had it so long and I've used it so much I can't even tell you the color anymore. But um, yeah, that. Then I've got this new Nars Narcissus um, Navy Narcissus Maybelline. This is actually the blue I'll be wearing on my eyes tomorrow. Okay, ladies. Okay, okay. Um, trying to open it with my little brush. This is from a brush. That's Narcissus. And there it is. That's Narcissus. 
Okay, next thing I'll be rocking is this baked eyeshadow, Enchanted, as a transition color, and a brown highlight and an under eye highlight. It does, it's a dual highlight, so you know what it looks like, it looks like that, and when you brush it out, you get this beautiful, beautiful sheen, you can't, but as you see, you cannot use a lot because it's still on my finger, and there it is brushed out. I'll be using it's a mess and don't judge me on this is my Sally Hansen Havana Glow you guys seen me use this in several videos but it's the fall so I really like to beat my face and it is still creamy and it is really um does what it says it's gonna do it's gonna give you a glow let me show you guys even on my skin tone it glows out so I'm, I'm blending it out so you guys get it I'm sorry it's, it's right up in there and you see the glow all right next I'm gonna have a ton of lippies so I'm just going to jump into it. One lippy. Yeah, I'm not going to wear that. Sorry. One of these lippies is called Naples. And if you live in South Florida, you know they make these for us. And this is what Naples looks like. It's just a pretty mild color. It's not sort of like fruit punch. I'll swatch it right there so you guys get a good look of it. And that's Naples. Okay. That could be worn along with the lip liner. Next color will be Plum Rum. That's foam rum right there. Let's do a swatch. Plum rum is like a chocolate brown. Next is caviar. I'm sorry, whipped caviar by NYX. I'm gonna have to use a lip pencil with that, but you guys who have that know what it is, what it's like. Next one is paparazzi pink. You guys know I had to throw a pink in there, right? I'm going to swatch paparazzi pink for you. It's like a sheer tone color, but it's pretty. Paparazzi pink. Yeah, I'm not going to do that one. Matte red by LA Colors. I really love this one. I had this song. Let me swatch it so you guys see what I mean. It's not really matte, but it is a beautiful red. It is a beautiful, beautiful red. Matte red tango. Uh, next color is going to be another dark color, Chrisman by Revlon. I'm going to swatch it. Another beautiful red. Okay. Next is going to new. You already know FOMO is going to be it. So we're going to bring FOMO back to life. If you guys don't know what FOMO looks like, there it is. FOMO. I've been using that the hell and back. Next one, Matte Innocence. Yeah, just in case you guys didn't think I had any of the Milani mats, I actually do. I have Matte um, Innocence. I haven't even worn this. My daughter wore this. I didn't even get a chance to put it on. Let me find a spot. Matte Innocence. You're going to definitely have to wear this with a liner. That is Matte Innocence. It's like a pinky nude. It's not a nude nude. Um, next thing is a Matte Craving Coral. If you guys seen me wear this plenty of times, but I'll swatch it for you. Craving Coral. It's another beautiful matte red color. Craving Coral. Another beautiful red is... I'm not bringing that fuchsia. Sorry, guys. Um, Black Cherry. This is by Revlon. i put Black Cherry right here. That is Black Cherry. I want my lips to pop, to pop, to pop. Um, this is a red color, Secret, by LA Girls. Matt. Watch Secret right here. I don't know what Secret tomorrow. I don't know. Is that Secret? Don't worry, I'm going to wash my hands, guys. Um, lip pencils. This matte red lip pencil is what I'm going to be rocking. Watch it right here. Use up these reds. So I, next season of reds come out, I can buy some more. This is a lip liner color in plum, but it looks like, like a brown. And another nude pencil, nude beige. I don't think I can swipe. I'm going to use this up by NYX. It's a nude beige. Okay. 
next lip liner is a blue. Of course, LA liner colors. This is just a blue. It's called by Dream World. So it's a blue. I don't know if I can show you guys that, but it's going to be a blue. And then there is a toasty. It's just like a bronze lip color. So if I wear that nude and want to give it some heat, that is what I would use. So, guys, thank you for watching. I'll be back today for part two, if there's going to be a part two. Because I pretty think I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.